Hi guys, Victor Kuros, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and today we have 10 tips for you sellers out there when selling your home. Okay, so 10 tips for you sellers when putting your property on the market. Here's tip number one price it right. Listen, if somebody tells you your house is worth a million dollars, but everybody knows it's worth $300,000, maybe you'll find an agent to list it at one million. But in today's market, the buyers out there are so technologically savvy that they know what's going on. They have it at the palm of their fingertips. Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, they're all telling them what your property should be selling for. So make sure you price it right from the get-go because a savvy buyer will know your property is overpriced and avoid it. Or maybe they'll go check it out, but they're going to give you an offer well below what you have it listed for. So price it right is my very first tip. Tip number two for putting your property on the market and getting it sold fast, curb appeal maintenance, guys. Get that grass green. Do a little bit of landscaping work. Plant some flowers, put some potted plants out there. You know, if you got a lot of uh, trim that looks really bad on the exterior, paint it up, clean it up. You got a really ugly looking mailbox, clean that baby up or get a whole new one. Curb appeal really means a lot to buyers. And this is the reason why. Buyers get excited. They look online, they look at photos. If the photos don't look good, they're not gonna be attracted to the property. But if the photos look great and they're interested in the property, maybe they drive by before they contact their agent or broker and schedule a home tour. If they drive by and see that the house looks pretty shabby, maybe they decide not to see the interior. So make it really nice, clean, and inviting. Fix that curb appeal. Push it up and hopefully you get a little bit more attention from the buyers out there in your neighborhood. Tip number three, first impression is your only impression. Declutter the house. You don't have time to do it just before a buyer comes to see the property. Strategically set days to clean the property up. Keep all of your community areas, living room, kitchen, family room lofts, any type of den, keep all the community areas free from clutter because a buyer sees the photos, they may see a video if you have a strong agent like myself, but when they go into the property, that's gonna be the real first impression and you wanna make a strong one, so keep it clean. The next tip that I have for you is be able to show the property at all times. I know you work hard. I know maybe you even work graveyard shift and it's pretty tough to let buyers in because remember buyers don't have the same schedule as you do most of the time. They always have a very inconvenient time when they would like to see the property and you have to make a decision. Do you want to go to happy hour with your friends or do you want to make sure that buyer gets in to see your house? Believe me, you want the buyer in to see your property. The reason is that one buyer may be the one buyer we need to get you your highest price for the property. It's a strategic game plan. Make sure you're part of it. Be ready to show the property at any and all times. The next tip I have for you is using lighting to your advantage. When somebody's coming to your house to take a property tour, open all the windows, open all the blinds, you know, spread open those drapes, turn on all the lights. I'm talking big lights, little lights, microwave lights, stove oven lights, laundry room lights. The reason why is when the windows are open, all the lights are turned on, you can see the interior a lot better. It makes it look bigger, especially if you have light neutral colors. It makes it look bigger. It makes it feel cleaner and the buyers are a little bit more attracted to it and they can envision their own decor and how they want to furnish the property. You want them to be able to see the property when they're living in it and you know their, their family's there already. So use lighting to your advantage. The next tip that I have for you sellers out there would be to showcase your storage. Now what I mean by showcasing your storage, I mean some of you, not all of you, I'm probably guilty of this as well. We have a lot of junk in our garage, right? We have a storage space and we have lots of junk there. Clean that stuff out. Again, declutter the property. The reason why you want to showcase your storage space is you don't want to show the buyer your junk. You want to show the buyer all the space they have to put their own junk there, okay? 
Another quick tip as far as showcasing your storage goes, empty your closets to about halfway full. The reason for that is, it again showcases how much room you have in the property to actually store clothes, shoes, different things like that. So really showcase the storage. It's gonna help a buyer make a better decision about your property. The next tip I have for you, tip number seven, is to depersonalize the house. Don't get me wrong, I love your family photos. I'm sure you do too. But sometimes the family photos are all over the house and they become overwhelming for a buyer. They can't even imagine their family in there or putting up their own decor and photos because you have your face plastered all over the wall. So it may be a good thing, maybe a bad thing, but you know, one of the tips that we uh, you know, ask you to do is please try to depersonalize the home as much as possible, okay? Again, let the buyer envision themselves in the property. Next tip I have for you is to um, eliminate bad odors. I would really like for you to eliminate bad odors in the property because, come on, who wants to walk into a beautiful house and it smells like three-day-old garbage? Really, take out the trash. Take the little pets and critters. Put them outside. Invest in a bottle of Febreze, some Glade Air Freshener, maybe one of your favorite scented candles because when people walk into a, a room, they hit that smell and it's just very inviting and gives them a good feel and a good vibe about the property. Think about this. When was the last time you had a really foul odor in your presence? How did that make you feel? You don't want that. So freshen up the house. Make sure it smells good. Tip number nine. Neutral colors never fail. Believe me, I love your neon orange and neon green walls. They're amazing, a work of art, but a buyer may not like that stuff, okay? Neutral colors never fail. Whites, creams, uh, light browns, you know, mid colors, mid tones, things like that are really easy on the eye. That's the reason why when you go see a model home, the model homes are all neutral colored out because it's easy on the eye. It allows the buyer to envision where they would place their furniture and their own decor. So get rid of the loud colors. You enjoyed it, but you were trying to sell your house now, and we want to appeal to as many buyers as possible. So neutral colors never fail. Paint neutrals, okay? And the last tip I have for you, tip number 10, is to fix that leaky faucet. Replace that broken light bulb. Fix that squeaky door handle. Listen, bottom line is, if you have great curb appeal, it's priced right, you do all these great things, it smells good when they walk into the property, and the buyer's taking a home tour, and they realize that all of your faucets leak, all of your door handles are broken, you're missing several light bulbs. What does that tell a buyer? It tells a buyer that you really haven't maintained the small stuff in the property. And if you haven't maintained the small stuff in the property, What's to say you've maintained the big components, the air conditioner, the heater, water heater, electrical systems, things like that. So instead of just talking about fixing these small things, take care of them immediately. A buyer will look at the details. They might be spending 500 to a million dollars, okay? Um, you never know, but take care of the small items. Hopefully you enjoyed these 10 tips to help you get the most money for your house when selling it. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. For more information or to contact me, please visit my website, www.victor4homes.com.